Here we are at the beginning of the revelation unfolding and the next five months being earthquakes and earth shaking storms was the last word that I issued. We enter into a period of the judgments and this is the vision that I see today. Beneath my feet, I see a paved path that is made from red paved bricks. Bricks relate to Egypt. The pavement relates to judgment. That was where judgments were made in the city of Jerusalem, in the pavement area outside the uh, front of the official building is where they declared judgment. And so we have a paved path, red sin, slavery, human, human works, human strength, and the idea of judgment. This is the path that we are on. The human system that has been created is a pathway that is leading us toward what I saw as I reached the top of a hill. The pathway drop away rapidly, steep descent all the way downhill from here. And at the bottom of the hill, I'd been following a star. I looked um, for about maybe four or five days from the end of J July into August. I was following a star and this star now is at the bottom, very long way down at the bottom of this very steep hill. And next, the vision turns into me standing at the edge of an empty, dark abyss, completely silent, deep, dark, without any possibility of seeing the bottom. This empty death. The path that we are on is leading to this bottomless pit, the pit of destruction. This is the road that these human edicts, this human system is paving for us. And people are following according to our cultural norms and the world that we live in. People are following these great stars, famous people, Hollywood entertainers, sports stars. If you look into these cultures, the Hollywood culture you'll see and the sports culture, you'll see these people who have been given great social privilege, who've been given a platform publicly and are revered by thousands of millions of followers. Many of these people, a vast majority of these people, are under a headship of satanic government order. And there's various forms of this, the OTO, um, Crowley, Illuminati, uh, Freemasonry headship. The origin of these satanic doctrines was from Egypt. The pyramid symbol and various other hand symbols that you'll see the Eye of Horus also, uh, the covering of the eye, um, the secret society symbol, and this symbol, various forms of this symbol or devil symbols, this one, Boy Scouts, various hand symbols represent these organizations, secret societies, the worship in the temples of Egypt, which related to satanic occult, trying to decode the secrets of the spiritual realm through satanic um, embodiment and also through sacrificial systems, human sacrifice, blood rituals, child sacrifice, various things like this, which are an abomination and defilement of God's purpose and his order over creation and the glory of God in man, causing people to contravene the internal moral order, the consciousness of moral, moral order and correctness in your heart is betrayed through these ritual sacrifices. And as you walk deeper into the levels of these rituals, the more you have blackened your conscience to their error and the more you become imbued with the spirits of the demonic realm that are imparted to you through your obedience, defiling the nature of humankind, sinning against your own flesh and sexual sin specifically, but also committing acts that are against God's natural order, uh, murder, adultery, sexual sin, sacrifice of children, idolatry, lust for power, greed, covetousness, the Ten Commandments, and much, much more. A vast 
array of ways that you can breach covenant with God and cause yourself to be cursed. And rather than bowing to God, these people become imbued with the demonic power. And that's the purpose of these rituals is to, to become a master of dark magic, to become so imbued and powerful over the order of creation, but not through submission to God in rebellion to his created order. In rebellion to his nature, his justice, your own flesh and conscience, awareness internally of what is right and wrong, which is given to every person. So these ritual sacrifices of Egypt, the Eye of Horus, the secret societies, OTO, Alistair Crowley, that Hollywood has become subjugated to, has become the celebrity worship, the culture of idol worship that our culture is subjected to. So these giant stars, unbeknownst to many people who follow and worship them as servants, as idol worshippers of these people, are under a headship of satanic government. The Baphomet was part of that uh, imagery and it's becoming a very common part. The pentagram symbols and various other satanic secret society symbols that are associated with these practices are all over the Hollywood communities posting photographic shoots through the movies themselves increasingly more and more and more of this stuff is becoming mainstreamed and the culture is immersing this generation of children and adults almost completely into a total satanic order so that the betrayal and the defilement is complete. Mind, body, spirit, heart. These people are shackled to sin, to a lifestyle that will lead to hell. It says in scripture that there is a way that seems right to a man because the whole world is headed in that way. It's an immersive culture. And so it doesn't seem as though if this, your, this is your reference point, the culture becomes your reference point. It doesn't seem as though the way that you're heading is the wrong way to go because you are surrounded by people on every side that are heading the same way. So there's no alarm bells ringing around you that are saying, no, stop, don't go. And internally, you betray your own conscience and heart. And as you continue in that process, you become more and more enslaved in bondage to these lords. Baal is lord, satanic lords headships demons and satan himself the dragon who is over you following these stars blindly will lead people to destruction if people are not aware your children etc are not aware of the headship over these people and these are the idols the influences the leaders that they are following it's like leading someone who is blind into a pit what we need to have is the eyes of heaven to interpret, to see where the Holy Spirit is leading us by our conscience internally through the voice of the prophets externally and through the voice of God, the dreams, the visions and the encounters which are going to be given out, as Joel said, in the last days to all flesh. There will be access to the voice of God, dreams, visions and encounters directly, sovereignly given to all flesh in these last days. It will be up to each individual whether or not they receive and obey and listen to the calling and the voice of God on their life. It will not be another person's responsibility. That responsibility will fall on every single individual and there will be no excuse at all once that voice, the Holy Spirit, has been released across the whole of the earth. And that is coming soon.